Today I want to pose a question to you. Do you support Israel? I know I do. On October 31st, 2011, I watched Debbie Wasserman Schultz give a speech at the Windward Country Club. In front of me, she stated that there are parts of Israel that are not important. This surprised me because up until that point, I was of the understanding that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was a strong supporter of Israel. I mean, for me, every inch of Israel is important, but it didn't stop there. It was reported that Debbie compared the 10,000 Syrian refugees that President Obama wanted to bring to the United States to the Jews of 1939. Essentially, she compared potential members of ISIS and Al Qaeda to Jews who survived the Holocaust. Debbie single-handedly stopped Congress from voting on tougher sanctions for Iran. And of course, we all know that, that Debbie voted to give $150 billion to Iran in President Obama's Iran deal. That's billions of dollars towards terrorist groups like Hamas and Hezbollah. That's billions of dollars towards the, the creation of, of long-range missiles which could reach the heart of Jerusalem. I'll be casting my vote uh, to support the deal and, if necessary, sustain the president's veto. The Debbie could have been a hero, but instead she chose to be a coward. If I was in her shoes, I would have either resigned or spoken out against it. Debbie Wasserman Schultz likes to wrap herself up in an Israeli flag. The truth is that from time to time, she has done grave harm to Israel, even threatening Israel's existence with the vote to give Iran $150 billion. You can be sure that as congressman, I'm going to always be there to protect Israel.